Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I've gotten so many requests for Jack and Sally off the mat. And um, I really like this image because you get both of them. Um, I was thinking probably doing the black and black glitter cardstock. I know that's probably not uh, with the theme. I don't even know what the theme is because I haven't watched the movie. So <laughs> I don't understand the story, but since she's all patched up like that with her clothes, prob I'm guessing black glitter cardstock's not probably part of the theme, but um, I'm going to do it that way because I want to make it big and I don't want it to, I don't want the seams to get in the way. And there, I feel like there's no way to do this with so much black and not use black glitter cardstock. All right, so the thing that I saw that looks like it's gonna be my biggest challenge is probably her hair. But I'm looking at her hair, and you see how this side, that's one piece. So I think even making it really big won't be an issue. This piece right here looks kind of big because it goes, it's from this hairline, this part, and it encompasses all of this down to here. It is on the thin side, so I feel like we could rotate and shift it a bit, but we'll see. Um, but other than that, everything else should be seamless. So let's try to, let's, let's see what we can do. So the first thing is, let's go to our height. We wanna make sure that this file is locked because we're gonna change only the height and we want the width to change um, with respect to the whole image, so it will, it will get wide um, accordingly. Um, all right, so let's do it. Let's type in 40 for the height and see what we have. So it's a relatively slender file, so I like that. So at 40 inches, it's 23 inches across, which I really kind of want it 22 inches across because I want two columns. Um, or even 23 inches. 23 inches we could do, I'm just gonna make, let me see how big this is at 22 inches. So at 22 inches, it's 37 inches long, which, let me look at this again. All right, so normally I would, type in the height, but in this case, I'm gonna do 22 inches wide, which makes it 37 inches high. Let me write that down. Or actually, let's save this. Save as Jack and Sally 22 by 37.239. So that I can remember. Okay, so let's save that and Let's get started. Okay, so I do like this file though. I mean, even though it's a lot of black, I feel like with black glitter cardstock, it's gonna look seamless. Look at all the little breaks. Um, so it's like all these little pieces, when we make it really big, it will still fit on one piece of cardstock. So your project's gonna be seamless. Like I said, the only thing that I'm gonna see an issue with is maybe this red hair. So let's tackle this red hair first. So first, let's look at this. This is our black background, and then it looks like each individual color, and that's it. So it's a pretty simple file. So let's ungroup it, and let's look at the hair first. So here's the hair. So the hair is, wait, hold on. Let's bring this back. The hair. Okay, so this whole thing is one piece. So the hair looks like it's in one, two, three, four, four pieces, which is kind of nice. I mean, considering how big her hair is, you're gonna lift up just one sheet of paper, but let's see how big this sheet is, okay? So um, let's split this up into four. So when, I'm gonna use contour because um, this is too hard to slice out because it bends and it's really thin so it's really hard to isolate each piece so in this case and let's zoom out for a second so I don't need to keep doing this okay so when we use contour to separate out this piece because this is showing as one image all the red is together we can't break it up and obviously um, you can only cut this, I mean, I guess technically you could cut it if you had 12 by 24 cardstock, but I don't. 
not in this color. So I'm gonna use 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm gonna to wanna to split this up. So since we're splitting this up, actually I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Sorry, being indecisive today. Um, okay, so we're gonna use contour to split this up. When you use contouring to split up pieces, you need this, um, however many pieces you want it to separate into, then you need that many copies. So we need four images of this because we're gonna break it up into four. So let's duplicate. Here's our second, third, and fourth. So we're doing this piece first. Let's hit contour. And you can see these are our four pieces that it's broken up into. So if you hit hide all, it's gonna leave you one. And it's gonna leave us the longest one. So let's look at this. So it's five inches by 13.7. So what's nice about this is design space calculates height from the most top to the most bottom. So it's from here to here. But if I rotate this piece, now my bottom is over here. It's not quite as low, right? So now it's eight inches by 12. So I think we're good here. We can rotate it a little bit more. So now my top is right here and my bottom is right here. So it's only 11 inches in, in difference in the height. So the same piece, I didn't shrink it, I didn't slice it, the only thing was I rotated it so it recalculated the dimensions. It recalculated the height. It takes its highest point from its lowest point. This point used to be all the way down here, right? But it's getting higher and higher and higher because we're rotating it and so now it's recalculating the height if you remember the the width before was only five inches and some it's now nine inches because now it's going from the most left to the most right and so now it's wider than it used to be but now that means we don't have to slice it up at all so i like that so that's i mean this piece is going to look amazing this was going to be our biggest piece which it was and it's gonna be flawless. It's gonna be this red glitter cardstock that's gonna look amazing. So let's go to our next piece and click contour, and let's contour the other pieces. So click hide all. It's gonna leave us this long piece, but let's do, we want this piece this time. Click on this one to say we don't want it, so it's only leaving us this piece right here. And this piece should be fine. Four inches by four. Let's do the next one, let's contour. Hit hide all, and when you hit hide all, it has to leave one, otherwise the whole image would disappear, right? So I want, and you can either select from here or you can select from the panel. So I want this piece, I don't want this one. So you deselect it and you selected this one. So here's our little piece, and then we have the bottom piece that we need left, so contour, hide all, I want this, no, I want this piece. I don't want this one and I don't want this one. Oh my God, I'm making a hot mess. Okay, this is the piece that I want, perfect. Okay, so my red is all done. Let's look at the other colors that we have. Um, let's see, what are, what's all our white pieces? So our white pieces, let's go back over here. It's his hand. Now, I am, I haven't watched the movie, but I am tempted to connect his hand so that his hand, this this hand at least, or are these both this? Oh, it's both the same hand, okay. Um, I'm tempted to make these four pieces one because I don't want to deal with those individual pieces. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And then the eyes, the face, okay. I mean, these are all pieces that we need. So this is how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna zoom in so that we can really see what we're doing. Okay, here we go. And let's uh, bring in a circle. I like bringing in the circle because I feel like I can change that shape more easily than obviously a square, because a square can only be a rectangle or a square. But this I can morph it into, you know, a lot of little things here. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm gonna turn it like that. So it's gonna look, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, 
But his hand was weird to begin with, so I'm not really concerned about. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna make two more copies to connect these pieces, okay? So now I'm gonna turn this over like so. Get it? So I'm gonna make this smaller. And I know I'm squinty. <laughs> All right, so that piece is good. Let me look at this one. So this one, I don't even understand this hand structure, but okay. And I need to just watch the movie. I don't know if that's explained in there. <laughs> okay, then that. Okay, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. Maybe like that. Okay. So I'm gonna grab all my white like this and I'm gonna weld it. So now my hand pieces, I don't think that looks bad. No one knows what that's supposed to look like. Um, so instead of four pieces, this is gonna be one. So I like it already. So let's uh, zoom back out and we need to separate out these pieces, right? So that when we cut this, hopefully it's, yeah, it should all be on one piece of cardstock. Um, so let's slice this time to break up these pieces into individual pieces. So let's do this. Um, so I'm gonna make this square really big. And I'm gonna use the same square, okay? So I'm gonna slice out this piece right here. So I'm gonna put this here. So the one piece that's being removed from all of the white is gonna be covered by my square. And then I'm gonna grab the white and my square, that's two images, because you can only slice two things at one time. And then I'm gonna slice. So what happens is now, instead of it being all connected or together as one piece, and you can get rid of your slice results, now this little piece is separated out, which I like. Then I'm gonna do Maybe I'll do the hands next right here. So I'm using the same square and now I'm slicing this. And the slice results we don't need, but see now this these two pieces move. Um, you can separate it even further, like I could do this. You just wanna make sure that you're, like now we're separating two pieces into or one connected piece that has two items on there and we wanna make them two separate items. One item has to be completely covered in the shape and then the other one has to be completely out. So in this case, we have the two pieces separated. I'm gonna grab these two and slice. So you see now this hand, that part of the hand is now its own little piece as well as this. So this allows you to basically move all your pieces on your cut cutting mat uh, when we go to make it, and you can make it really, really efficient. I do this because I do so many off the mat projects, and so I use my scrap. I use my glitter cardstock, and so this eye can fit maybe in a small random piece that I have, or, you know, so I'm always saving my glitter cardstock. So I'm gonna slice out this whole thing So that I'm hoping in the end that my white cardstock is just going to be a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Okay, so I'm doing it one piece at a time. And this is good practice. We Slicing is an amazing tool, so you got to get used to it. Okay, so here's that piece. All right, so now we just have this. So this piece, I'm almost tempted to just leave it as is, but oh, the cheapskate in me is like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Maybe I'll slice out that piece. Because everything else can then fit in this. So I think I'm gonna be done right here. That's all I'm gonna slice out and then the rest I'm gonna leave attached. Okay, so here are these two pieces and then I'm gonna leave this together. You can continue to slice this out into individual pieces. That's up to you. Because right now it's four by eight, so technically you can cut it, and then I was gonna move all these pieces in and fill in the spaces, and then cut this on my cutting mat, okay? All right, so let's get rid of this square. 
let's go back and see what else we have left to do. Okay, so this blue, we're gonna slice it up into pieces. But I'm hoping, let's see what we're gonna do. Maybe I'm not gonna slice up those individual pieces, but I'm gonna slice this into maybe four pieces. So let's do this. Okay, so the arm by itself is five by three or six by four. <laughs> and then let's move this over and then let's see. This is a, ooh, is there something at the bottom? Oh, the legs. Okay, so yeah, we gotta slice out the legs. So let's slice out this leg here. Oops. All right, so we're slicing out the legs. And I'm not even removing that. You see how the leg here is now, oh, it's, hold on, it's sticking, it's picking out at the bottom, so we don't want that there. So I'm gonna grab this and slice. So you can see I didn't remove this, but my mouse only picked up two items. It only picked up the square and, and the blue item. So it let me slice, so you just gotta, um, I was I call it slicing in traffic like you can do that as long as your mouse only picks up two items so you see how right there this is right here as well but my mouse only picked up these two items so it's it's the same um, what we're applying is the same thing okay so now we have just this so let's slice out let's slice out this hand now you see this is part of this um, square, so I gotta move it over. Otherwise, it's gonna slice off that little piece of it. Here, let's do it like this. Okay, I think the hand is completely in the square and then everything else is out. So now I can do this. Yeah, so now let's see if I can stick the hand in right there. And you see the blue's not coming out, so I know it's completely in this gray area. The face is not in the gray area, so that's perfect. And I'm gonna do this and slice. So that's all I'm gonna slice. I'm gonna leave everything else attached. So I'm leaving this whole head three inches by seven inches attached like that. And this arm I'm going to leave, it's nine inches long. That's fine. I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, so let's get rid of this slice result. We don't need that. Okay, so that color is done. Let's see what else we have. Um, purple. So this purple, let's see. Is this in multiple pieces? It is, because that's one piece. Two, three, four. It's in four pieces. I want this to be one. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to attach it in just like enough so that it's connected, okay? So um, let's make this super small because right now this little piece here is not attached to the rest of the dress, right? Or to the rest of the purple. So I'm gonna do something like this. Oops, I wanna move it over just a little bit. So it's on the edge. I don't want to ruin the swirls. I still want the swirls, um, but now look. So I'm gonna grab that and weld it. So this little purple piece is now connected. That little inside is now connected to the rest. So it's part of this whole bigger piece. So now I just need to connect this piece to this and then this piece to this. So let's bring in another circle. And I'm doing this because look at all the moving parts that we have. Um, I just don't wanna deal with, you know, for this little section, I don't want four pieces. I want one beautiful piece with all the little swirls all connected. 
So I'm gonna connect it right here, and then I'm gonna grab this, and I'm going to duplicate it because I'm gonna make this connection over here as well. Okay, so I think that's good. So my purple is gonna go from, let's weld that together. So this top part is now all one piece because see it's all connected, it's still connected, right? Yeah, so it, it, it probably doesn't look it and I don't think it, it changes um, the character, the essence of the character, but now you only have one piece for this. It it will definitely help later, trust me, <laughs> when you're trying to piece it all together. All right, so let's separate out these pieces. Let's bring in our square and start slicing that up. Okay, so let's slice out one piece at a time. So the, I'm in a lot of traffic, so I'm gonna start it right here. My mouse, I'm gonna go from here. Just enough to grab the purple and my square. Okay, so that's good. Let's, let's move this down and work here. Okay, so let's get this purple, this top part to be completely in the square. So now I'm gonna grab the square and the purple and slice. And you saw the legs were right there, but it's okay because my mouse didn't pick it up. My mouse only picked up, look at that, it didn't matter. So I, I get a lot of questions on slicing. So that's how you slice in traffic. It's two pieces, it's what your mouse picks up. So I'm gonna tilt this square so that I can get just this piece up here. And see, I'm gonna go from over here, my mouse is gonna grab the purple and my rectangle, just enough to grab the rectangle. I don't need to grab the whole big gigantic rectangle, square or square, slice. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so what do we have left? We have a few, few pieces of the purple left. I mean, you can, you can slice those two together. I know it's such a chore, but um, you end up saving so much cardstock. I know it just depends if you don't, if you don't do too much crafting, then it's fine. But I, I have so many projects that I feel like I could save a little bit. Okay. The purple, I'm going to leave it like that I'm gonna get rid of this square. And we only have a few more colors to deal with. Oh, perfect. Just two, and then our big black background. So let me get the square. We're gonna slice this apart. Um, here we go. Oops. Remember, we don't need the slice results, okay? So you can just throw away that. These two items we can just toss. Okay, so now these pieces are separated, perfect. And here is our gold, and let's look at our gold. See, like, this sleeve is so beautiful. It's one piece, but it looks really detailed and complicated, right? But it's all connected, I love that. Okay, so this is pretty easy to slice out, so let's just get in a big square and start slicing away. And I'll move it over here a little bit just so that we're not in the middle of everything. Okay, slice. slicing away let's see um, let's bring it down here and get this piece and then just one more piece and I'm gonna move that up here because I see a spot and then I'm gonna do this and slice And 
and we're almost done, right? Okay, so cool. Let's get rid of these pieces. Okay, and we can look at the panel to see what we have. So we have all our yellow pieces, all our, um, I don't know, like a greenish. Here's our purple, our slice results. We don't need this one. You can tell because it's a different color as well as this one. Okay, um, these are all our light blues, our whites, our red, and then we have our big black background that has a warning sign because it's too big. It's 22 inches by 37 inches. So let's now finally tackle this piece, okay? So let's zoom out so we can see what we have. So we have all these pieces over here. So let me just grab all of this and move it over a little bit just so that we have a clean space. Okay, so here's our black background. It's clearly way too big for us to cut, right? So we're basically gonna be building these small squares of 11 by 11. Um, and we're gonna make them completely flush with each other so that when we break this up, so this is gonna be split in two. So 11 plus 11 is 22, right? And then for 37 inches, we're gonna need four sheets because three sheets would only be three, 33 inches, so we need four sheets, it's gonna go to 44. So we have four by two, so we have eight squares that we're gonna be dealing with, okay? So we're basically cutting this black background into eight pieces that your Cricut can cut with 12 by 12 cardstock. And that's it. <laughs> so let's bring in our first square. We're gonna change it to 11 by 11. Technically you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I don't like dealing with half inches. And only when it's 23 inches or any you know multiple of 11 and a half does it make a difference. So for the most part, it hardly ever does. So this first one, I'm just gonna put it somewhere here. We're gonna go to our position feature and make it whole numbers. This is gonna help us later because if anything shifts, we can easily backtrack and know exactly where to make it flushed. So four and a half, I'm just gonna round up to the nearest whole number. So I'm gonna change that to five and then 2.7, I'm gonna change to three. So what we're saying is for your X coordinate, go over five units, go down three units, and here's the beginning of our square. So let's duplicate this square and we're gonna put it right close to the first one. And so then this one, 16.3 becomes 16. It's already at three, so it's perfect. So we have two flush squares. I know they're flush because the first one, this coordinate, the X is five. Five plus my 11 inches of this cardstock paper is 16 and there it is, 16, okay? So we have two flush squares. Hit the shift key, grab both of them, and duplicate. And we just need to make this pair flushed with the top pair. So if you put it close enough, then you go over here. Oh, I put it exactly, it's five and 14, it's perfect. And we could check the math on this as well. So this, now on our Y coordinate, it was started at three, right? So it went down to three, Three plus 11 is 14, so this starts at 14. So that's how we know. Okay, so now we have four flush squares. So on this side over here, on your right-hand side panel, hit the shift key and grab all four squares. And we duplicate. And we make this set of four flushed with this top set of four. So we're gonna put it right close and we're gonna change 5.11 becomes five, 25.11, oops, hit the shift key, becomes 25, shift or tab. Gosh, I'm losing my head. Now I have eight squares that are completely flushed, right? So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, click on my black image and send it to the front. Arrange, send to the front. So we need to move this over a little bit and make sure it's all in there. That looks like it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in because we wanna see where our seams are gonna be and we wanna make sure they're exactly where we want them to be. So we want this to be eight large pieces. We don't want any little itty bitty pieces that we need to deal with. So in this case, this is gonna come down. This, this square over here is going to come down right here 
and here, and it's going to be one big piece, so I'm good there. This one's going to come down here, and here. so I don't like this because if you look at this, uh, this little triangle may be its own piece, and I don't want to have to handle that one piece. So I'm actually going to grab this and move it up a little bit. And let's get the whole arm. So I'm just moving this up. So, okay, so now let's look at this. This is gonna cut down right here and right here. So this arm is gonna be hanging out by itself. I wonder if we could get the arm all the way in. So let's move this up. Okay, no, the arm will never fit. This part from here to here is too long. So I would rather have the arm Here, because then it's one piece that I'm gonna tape together if I do it like this I'm gonna have to tape it here and tape it here so I don't I don't want that for the arm I'm so I'm gonna do it like right around here so I'm gonna tape the arm here let's move this over a little bit okay so I'm gonna it's gonna this triangle we're gonna have to deal with it's going to have to be taped to this and then so this piece over here is gonna be this big piece. So I'm good there. Let's see, it's gonna cut down, okay. Yeah, these are gonna be big pieces, perfect. I think we're good. I mean, this, we have to, these little pieces. So I like the way this looks. So let's um, zoom back out and slice, start slicing one piece at a time, okay? One square at a time. So I'm gonna grab this square and the image and slice. I'm gonna grab this side and slice. And I like to rebuild it. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take these two pieces and put them right where they're supposed to be so I know what I have and I know where they belong. So that's gonna go like that. So let's grab the next slicing items. That right there is a little glitch, but it's okay. We don't just keep slicing and... So this piece is one gigantic piece and it's gonna go here. Then this piece See, it's all connected. The only piece that's not connected is this triangle, but it is what it is. So it's gonna go like that. Then we gotta slice this piece. Slice this side. Slice this bottom. Okay, so here are all our pieces, okay? There's that. Okay, these two, I'm going to separate them. They go right here, um, and same thing with this bottom. So this one's a single foot, no big deal. But these two, I'm gonna separate it because then we can consolidate it, and I'm gonna show you what I need. So we never even use this one. So I'm gonna use this square. I'm gonna slice these two things out. And we'll go to the make it screen so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna slice this out and then I'm gonna slice this as well. Okay, so all of this we don't need. So I'm gonna grab all of that and delete. And this as well. All right, so we have everything, I think. Well, we don't need this. All right, so ready? We're gonna go to the Make It screen and we're gonna start consolidating. So I'm gonna show you, this is a big piece. It's got lots and lots of pieces. It's got 16 mats. This, just click OK, we'll deal with it in a second. 
So here's all our white pieces. So all our white fits in one on one page. So, but I'm gonna move this over. Let's see, this fits here. Because next time I'm gonna have, let me move all this first before I start talking. <laughs> so you can see, you can move all these things over, right? I mean, I could have left it here, but look, it all fits over here. And so next time when I save this piece of cardstock, I'm going to have really usable space. I have four by, uh, four by five up here, or four by six up here, and then six by 12 down here to cut another one of these if I wanted to. Okay, here's our black. So we have a bunch of pieces. I don't know if we can consolidate any, oh wait, here, these we can consolidate. So let's move this piece, because this piece is the longest. Let's click on the three dots and move object and see if we can move it to another black piece. Um, so it's this piece right here that we're trying to move. It's kind of, maybe we can fit it here? Let's see. Oh, yep, okay. And then let's go back to this one. We can move, definitely move this. Hit the three, move object. And maybe we could even consolidate some more if we wanted to. Um, I feel like that, let's see, how small is that? That can fit over here somewhere. Let's see. So you can flip it around. And uh, let me see, I, there, that fits. So that fits in this little thing. Um, let's see, uh, what is this piece? Oh, this is all one piece, okay. I don't think that can fit anywhere else. So we saved one sheet of cardstock. So our black is one, two, three, four, five. Five pieces of black cardstock. <sighs> can we fit any? I feel like we should be able to. But I'm not gonna do it on this one because I'm not gonna make it right now, so. You know, maybe we can consolidate one more sheet somehow. Maybe bring in some of these pieces over here. All right, here's our yellow, and our yellow could be more consolidated. Because then you have this big portion and all of this for next time. Same thing with this piece. We can move this closer over here. You could even do something like this. Right, then you have all of this for next time. Same thing with this piece. Let's see what we can do here. We can move this closer. You can flip things around. Um, I wonder if we could do something like I don't know, but you can, you get the, you get the gist. We can make this as efficient as possible, or maybe this one goes down like this. So that next time you have all of this over here. Okay, um, let's see, we have this. Oh, wait a minute, this can fit over there. So click on the three dots, move object, yeah, it would definitely fit on this page now. Oops. You could then turn it this way and maybe it will now fit. Yeah, but you know, okay. <laughs> Here's our purple, same thing with the purple. You can definitely move this over somewhere. Maybe even tilt this like this, so. All right, so here's our red. Our red, our red looks crazy. <laughs> okay, it, it acted crazy. It's showing on four separate pieces, but it should fit on one to two. So this one, we need to rotate it, remember? 
and we need to make sure it fits in, now it fits, right? Look, it's 10 inches by whatever, and we can start moving other things over to it. And we're gonna get it with the hair, with the long piece. So here's that. Oops. Okay, we can move. Oh yeah, it should all fit on one. So we'll recount our pages later, but I think all of our red will fit on one 12 by 12, so that's really nice. Uh, come on, here we go. And our last piece, yay. And we're gonna move it to this one. Okay, so while this is a really big piece um, at, what did we say, 37 inches? It's not that much in cardstock. So it's one sheet of red. Let me see, do we have any other colors? Okay, so one sheet of red. And this says you need a 12 by 24 mat, but you don't because it's all on one. So you can just stick it on your 12 by 12 piece of red glitter cardstock on top of your 12 by 12 mat and just feed it into your machine. Your machine won't know the difference. Okay, so it's one sheet of red, one sheet of purple, light blue. So it's one color per sheet. One color per sheet, one sheet per each color. <laughs> and then your black is going to be one, two, three, four, five, five sheets of cardstock. So it's not that bad. It's gonna look super cool. It's gonna be seamless, except for the black, but the black glitter cardstock is gonna help hide the seam. So it's gonna look pretty amazing. All right, I will see you in the next video after I cut this. Uh, we will piece this together. So any comments or questions, please post them here. And then if you have any special requests, post them here as well. And then you can send me the files or the additional details to my email. It's Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. And for this one, I am gonna be using a different brand of um, glitter cardstock. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm gonna mix this quite a bit because I don't have all those colors in glitter cardstock. So I'm gonna be using um, like for her skin, I think I'm gonna be using a regular cardstock, 65 pound cardstock. So it should be interesting. I will see you guys next time. Bye.